Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am The Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel Shopping and Scents. So today we're going to be talking about all things Dollar Tree. We're going to talk about what you should and shouldn't buy at the Dollar Tree. We're going to be talking about what makes the Dollar Tree so addictive. Got my notes here. What leads to Dollar Tree collecting and hoarding and the dreaded Dollar Tree Plus idea. Oof. No, 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 no. Okay, so why is the Dollar Tree so addictive? Because there are very few stores around anymore that sell things for just a dollar. Now back in the, I think it was the 1990s, even early 2000s, there were these variety stores, mom and pop variety stores that started calling themselves 99 cent stores. And at that time, the items were 99 cents and they were not very good quality. They were off name brands, you know, like brand X type brands that you've never heard of before. And just the, the general feel inside the store was that you were in a, um, a lower end quality store. I mean, not to bash them or anything, but you, you clearly knew that you were in a place where <clears throat> it was heavily discounted stuff. Some stuff that was um, slightly irregular, you know, I think they even sell slightly irregular in like bigger stores now. But anyway, so those were the variety stores. And then all of a sudden, 99 cent stores, used, not used to, started adding and up. So they were 99 cents and up stores and that made them even worse because i don't think the the quality of the products got any better it was still knockoff brand stuff and it just wasn't a good shopping experience and a lot of times the return policies were really bad store credit only or no refunds um and yeah it was it was just not a fun time so then we get the uh the dollar tree which actually started in the 1980s, which I did not know. Um, I've just noticed it within the past couple of years. I had no idea that the company had been around for such a long time. So Dollar Tree is one of the few stores where you can get anything in the store for a dollar. You don't have to worry about going into the store and thinking, well, I need to buy these five items. Am I going to have enough money to cover everything that I need. You know that if you go there, if you're buying five items, you're paying $5 plus tax and that's it. So you, you know what you're spending. There's no surprises there. And you have a clean uh, chain store where you get a shopping cart, everything is nice and roomy, things are easily arranged, easy to find uh, usually, and you get some good quality name brand stuff. Even the uh, the Dollar Tree uh, company itself, the Green Briar brand, which is the Dollar Tree brand, some of their products are pretty good. Now, like with any dollar product, you're gonna get some crappiness in there. You're gonna get things that don't work or things that don't last very long. But that's, that's you know, it's a gamble when you're spending a dollar. But I have to say, for being a, as being a Dollar Tree shopper for a few years now, <clears throat> I've had pretty good success with most of what I've purchased. So now we get to, I'm just going to divert a little bit to what I think is the biggest mistake that Dollar Tree could ever make. So they came up with this idea of Dollar Tree Plus, where they're going to start making some sections or some portions of the, the store um, have items that are more than a dollar. I think they're going to go up to five dollars. And that's just not good because it defeats the whole purpose of the Dollar Tree concept. You can go anywhere and get discounted stuff. You can go to five below and get stuff that is five dollars and below if we wanted that experience, but we don't. I think most of us don't because it's gotten pretty bad feedback online and you know, from what I've seen, I don't think anybody likes this Dollar Tree Plus idea. And I've seen where Dollar Tree 
they're trying to, you know, they're saying, listen, we've had the same prices since the 80s. It's time to start jacking up the prices. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you're going to lose your loyal customer base. People don't want to go into the Dollar Tree to be tempted to spend more than a dollar. And they're not going to want to spend more than a dollar. And a lot of the items that I've seen in these different videos that have talked about Dollar Tree Plus are some of the items that we have currently been getting for a dollar. Now, they rolled out this ridiculous idea uh, and tested it out in certain stores across the country. Fortunately, it has not come to any of the stores that I've been to here in New York, and I hope it never does. I must have been under a rock because I didn't know that this whole Dollar Tree Plus thing was going on until I was watching a Come Shop With Me video done by another YouTuber called DeBoss Ella, and it was in her store, and she was showing the different items, and it's a Dollar Tree Plus, and I thought, oh no, that is just, that's just awful. That's just the worst idea because part of, and this is getting to my, my other part of my video, why is the Dollar Tree so addictive? It's because you can buy any one item in the store for a dollar. There are very few stores where you can walk around the store and you know that anything in the store you can possess for one dollar. It gets you drunk with power. You know, and they, they are able to squeeze money out of you other ways. They don't need to raise the prices because everything is so cheap. Everything is a dollar. It becomes an addiction. Okay. I don't want, I, I want to mention this first. Um, the, so there's no more true 99 cent stores, like 99 cents and up the chin. I mean, the independent stores, the chain stores, 99 cents only uh stores am i looking yeah i'm looking at my nose line the 99 cent only stores are not 99 cents only anymore neither is dollar general and neither is family dollar so they really should take that out of the the name because it's not it's it's false advertising so this is how they get you this is why they don't have to raise the prices because you can buy any one item for a dollar you tend to buy more and there's a couple of reasons for this. Uh, first, let's see. You don't know if they're going to get the item. If it's a brand name item, you don't know if they're going to get it back again. So you have a tendency to stock up. I'll just give you an example here. <clears throat> Last year or the year before, whatever it was, I stocked up on the Glade Limited Edition Matcha Garden. They never got this back again. So the green briar brand the dollar tree brand <clears throat> they'll consistently get those items in usually but the brand name stuff you don't know when it's coming back or if it's coming back so you tend to buy in bulk so whereas if i had picked this up in walmart and i knew it was a year-round product this is just an example air freshener is not the best example but whatever it is shampoo you know your favorite lipstick if you know that it's always going to be there, you just tend to get one because you're like, well, when I run out, I can go and get more. With the Dollar Tree, it's like luck of the draw. If you find a product that you really like, people tend to stock up on it like I do. Also, um, in line with that, <clears throat> if they have a new product in their stores, uh, not a new product to the public, but just a new product to them, um, people tend to buy like I do. They have to get it in every fragrance or every color or every size because they must have all of them to have the, because it's this collection mentality. Like they just got in lip balms and they had a display and I had to get every lip balm that was on the display because I had to have all of them. I recently bought some herbal essences, um, can leave in conditioner. It came in three different fragrances. I had to have all three. It's this, I must possess them all. It's so cheap. How could I not buy it? So that's how they're getting you. You're, you're buying products in bulk because you're afraid they're not going to come back again. You're buying 
every kind in the collection so that you have all of them. And then the other reason is, um, there was another reason. Now I forget, I totally blanked out on that. Um, what is the other reason that you have to have all of them? All right, I'll go back to it. So yeah, I was on a roll there for a while. I was thinking I was not gonna have to re-record this video, but now I'm, I'm questioning that. Let's see, what else? Um, oh, so there's a Dollar Tree community on YouTube. And part of being part of the Dollar Tree community is showing all the things that you find at the Dollar Tree. So you compare, you know, what, who got what at what store. And, uh, oh, here's the other thing that, that makes you buy more. Impulse items. You go in there to buy, you know, you're saying like, I need to buy pens, toilet paper, plastic cups, and I don't know, cinnamon spice or something. And you see, oh, a cute little unicorn shaped trinket tray or a um, mermaid keychain. And so there's these, all these things that you absolutely don't need, dust collectors, you know, like little knickknacks, shadow boxes, all these other things that you don't need that are impulse items that you will pick up. So you will go in there to spend $5 and you walk out spending 20 because there are all these impulse items that you just have to have. So that's the, the dangers of shopping at the Dollar Tree. And that's why they don't have to raise their prices because people get hooked on Dollar Tree. It's, it's just this idea that I can spend $20 and get 20 items and I can do that nowhere else. It's a whole different type of shopping experience than when you go to five below, you know, you just do everything is $5 and below, but it's not the same addictive experience. So buying all this extra stuff, hoarding the stuff, I mean, like buying bulk of what you like, buying everything in a set, um, buying impulse items, all this leads to clutter and it leads to hoarding. Now this can have its upside and downside. If you're buying more product than you're using, then you're leading to clutter. If you're getting rid of the stuff by giving it away as gifts or putting it in little like goodie bags or stuff like that, then <clears throat> it's not as bad. Um, the other thing is I notice because I, I tend to buy things like I'll go down the first aid aisle and stuff and I will say, well, you know, I might need heating cream for if I pull a muscle or I might need toothache cream or I might need uh you know an ice pack or I might need gauze or something like that I am prepared for any situation and this let me tell you has worked out so many times I'm buying extra toothbrushes and stuff I'll have like a friend stay over or something they forgot their toothbrush no problem I have like 20 of them <clears throat> one time I had a friend stay over that was having a really bad toothache. No problem. I have toothache cream. Do you have, you know, they have a headache. I have extra Tylenol. They needed an ice pack. I have it. Everything that you could possibly need for any situation. I have it because I bought it at the Dollar Tree thinking, gee, what if that situation should happen? So it has its upsides and downsides. There, okay, here's another, here's the upside to Dollar Tree other than that you can get a lot for your buck. The, the thing about Dollar Tree is that there are products that they sell that you should not buy in a regular store. So I have a list of products here that I've written down that are way more expensive in a drugstore, retail pharmacy chain like CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, uh, or your supermarket. So there are some items that if you are spending more than a dollar at another store for these products, you need to go to the Dollar Tree. 
unless they do that messed up Dollar Tree Plus thing, in, in which case, I don't know, I might have to not go there again. I might have to boycott the Dollar Tree. I don't know. So some of the things that you should not spend more than a dollar for when you go shopping at your local store is stuff like, um, well, unless you're a, a Bath and Body Works fanatic like I am, but if you're not, shower gel, hand soap, shaving cream, paper products, paper towels, toilet paper, plastic utensils, paper plates, plastic cups, um, shampoo, toothpaste, seasonal decor, greeting cards, any kind of first aid item like band-aids or, you know, uh, band-aids, hydrocortisone cream, antibiotic cream, muscle ache cream, toothache cream, uh, lip balm. Okay, I'm going to be doing a haul with lip balm. I was at CVS today and they were running a sale on lip balm. Okay, it was buy one, get one 50% off. And still the lip balms were like $5 each or higher. And then you get one 50% off. So you're spending like, let's say best case scenario, seven fifty. Yeah, seven fifty for two lip balms. And you can get seven lip balms in the Dollar Tree. And some of them are ja uh, are chapstick brand. Some of them are uh, lip smackers brand, which you can pay a lot more for in the store. Okay, they don't have the, the EOS ones. They have like Revo, but still. And they have Carmex and Blistex and all that other stuff. Um other things that you can pick up in the, the Dollar Tree are like um, things for your kitchen. So dish towels, um, spoons, stirring spoons, um, measuring cups. These are things that you, and you can get like Betty Crocker brand measuring cups um, and, and uh, spoon measures. And then you can also get... Um, like really good Tupperware. It's not Tupperware, but off brand Tupperware um, that I think is Betty Crocker brand. I think they do have that in a Betty Crocker brand Tupperware. It's not Tupperware. You know, it's, it's, it's weird. It's like Band-Aids. We call bandages, all bandages, Band-Aids, but Band-Aids is a brand, but it's so ingrained in our shopping that we just call everything Band-Aid. So every kind of plastic storage container, we call it Tupperware, but it's not Tupperware because that's a brand. Anyway, and not all Tupperware, not, not all brands are Tupperware. See what I'm saying? This, at the commercial um, branding gets to you, it gets in your mind. So those products like, you know, the, the toothpaste and all this other stuff, wrapping paper, gift bags, those are gift bags and wrapping paper are ridiculously priced at place. You could spend $5 on a gift bag in CVS and you can get one that is just as nice at the Dollar Tree. So what I would not, what I would not buy at the Dollar Tree and this is just me. Everybody is different. I would not buy off-brand medication at the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm not talking about the creams and stuff. But I mean like the vitamins and anything that you have to ingest. I mean, they have like Tylenol brand, aspirin. They have, you know, brand name stuff. But I would not get like the Assured brand of anything that you have to ingest medically that's like a medicine or a vitamin. I don't know. I'm just weird about that. The other thing I would not buy there is feminine products. So, excuse this portion if it, you know, offends you if there are any men watching, but like maxi pads, tampons, any kind of feminine cream or cleanser with the exception of wipes, which the feminine wipes I would not use on my woman area. Anything that has to do with feminine hygiene, I would not buy at the Dollar Tree. That's not to say that there's anything wrong with it, but I just don't feel comfortable with that. That's something that I would, I would, you know, go to the regular drugstore and buy at full price, which those, that stuff can be very expensive as well. Other stuff that 
Okay, so this is stuff that I don't need to buy that the Dollar Tree sells. Pregnancy tests. Drug tests. They sell marijuana drug testing kits. I don't know who's buying it. I, I, I don't want to know. Okay. Um, and then the, the pet products. So if it's a brand name pet treat, then I might consider buying it. But as far as the toys I and the bones, a lot of that stuff is made in China. I don't know what's in it. Um, and there were news reports a while back, you might remember about uh, lead paint and or toxic paint or, or whatever it was that was in toys or whatever products. And after that, it just turned me off for buying any kind of like rubbery toy or or anything um, like bones or like rawhide bones, which are not supposed to be good for your dog anyway. So I stay away from the pet stuff. If it's like a rope, like a chew, like a tug of war type rope, or if it's um, a, not a squeaky toy, like a fabric toy, maybe, but I really don't buy pet stuff at the Dollar Tree. Um, what else that I want to talk about? Is that, oh, so another thing that you have to watch out for when you go to the Dollar Tree is the size of the product that you're buying because sometimes you're not getting the best deal. So they tend to make the food products in smaller quantities. So you'll get a box of Nutri, not Nutri-Grain bars, but their brand of what would be Nutri-Grain bars. And instead of getting eight in a package, you only get four. You know, like the, the brand name in, in the supermarket, you might get eight in a box. They sell them in boxes of like four. The shampoo, this is how I wanna demonstrate how you're not always getting the best deal. So this is herbal essences in a travel size. And this is 1.7 fluid ounces. So as with everything at the Dollar Tree, this is $1, 1.7 fluid ounces. This is Alberto VO5 shampoo. This is 15 fluid ounces and it is $1. This silk essence conditioner is 32 fluid ounces and it's a dollar. All these products are the same price and you can see there is quite a difference in the quantity that you're getting. So watch out for that. And is that everything that I wanted to tell you about the Dollar Tree? I think that is everything. So I think that you guys should watch this or recommend that your friends watch it uh, before you go to the Dollar Tree, either for the first time or the 10 millionth time. And I want to know what you guys think about Dollar Tree Plus. I think it is the worst, the worst idea ever. I mean... Why can't they leave well enough alone? They are, like I explained in all the, oh, and I should say, this is all my opinion. This is just my views on the Dollar Tree. You'll have your views if you're a Dollar Tree shopper. Um, but I think they squeeze plenty of money out of their customers in other ways. And taking away the Dollar tree model of everything is a dollar is not going to work. You don't need to squeeze your customers by putting higher price items in the store and trying to get them to spend more on a single item. The key to getting the money out of the customer is that they go in and because everything is a dollar, they buy more of it and they're tempted to buy impulse items. So you're getting that money. You don't need to put that stuff in the store. And I have to say, honestly, if they do Dollar Tree Plus, like everywhere in the United States, if they bring it here to New York, that is going to be such a turnoff 
to the Dollar Tree experience that I'm just going to be like tempted to walk out of the store. It's seriously going to be just like, because then Dollar Tree would be no different than Family Dollar, Dollar General, 99 cents and all, no, 99 cents only stores, Five Below, Walmart, because, or Target Dollar Spot right? The dollar spot in, in Target where everything is not a dollar. It's like from $1 to $10. So those are my thoughts. I'm anxious to hear what you guys think. Uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. And until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.